Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. Today we're gonna to get into how to customize the maps in your Mestastic app by adding custom layers. Now, you can import KML files and some other file formats. The version, or what I'm gonna show you today is gonna to be how to import KML files, how to create KML files in a fairly simple way. There's obviously some other methods. I'm not an expert on any of those mapping <laughs> features, but I figured out a way to do it that I think you'll find useful. This is a good interim if you don't wanna jump into ATAC and use some of the custom features there, you can just use the Mestastic app. And then we'll also talk about offline mapping because those questions come up fairly regularly. Okay, so as you see here, I am using Google Earth, um, the web version. And on this one, I imported a KML file that I downloaded from repeater book. And you can see here in Washington state, there's a bunch of repeaters. Now I'm going to show you the process I used and I'm still refining this for importing or creating the locations for hypothetical mestastic routers, put in some key locations in Washington. You know, if you see here, um, you got, this is a capital peak area. Uh, outside of Olympia and it has uh, there's already a repeater up there so say you got approval to put a mistastic router up there um, you know you'd get pretty good coverage of this area it'd be an ideal location for something like a router now um, you know to bridge uh, the cascades to the central Washington area, say one up here, there is no repeater in this location. There is supposedly one up on uh, Rainier here. So maybe that'd be um, Paradise area. Maybe that'd be a better location. But like I said, this is just a demonstration. So here, the Coal Creek mountain area uh, would be a good location. The route, state route 12 that goes through the Cascades there and into the Yakima Valley, uh, and then some other locations that I just picked. The key here is just, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes to show you how to like Snoqualmie Pass. It's another interstate that goes through the Cascade Mountains there. Um, it would be a good location also. Now, how do I get it, the Mestastic ones? Well, I just created them in here basically to get the lat long, the latitude and longitude coordinates of those locations. And then I pulled up, let's see, an Excel spreadsheet, named the locations, and put their lat longs in here. So I got name, lat long, lat, and long. Uh, and then we'll go over to the convert CVS to KML, and then we're going to import that. One thing I forgot to cover was when you're You've got your Excel file. When you go to save it, you're gonna save as, and you see here, it's gonna to default to the Excel file. Oops. And then you're gonna to go to CSV UTF-8, select that, and then hit save. Next, I went to a website called convertcsv.com, and then you upload your file here. Of course, I chose, chose choose file, I select the correct file, and then you can adjust the inputs uh, options. So field one I just kept is the name, field two or description field, field one, just the name. You can customize this, but this is for demonstrations. The key is just making sure you're pointing it to the right column on your file for your lat longs, or those will be incorrect. You can add a altitude field also. And then you can see kind of what it's going to export here. Then you download the results and now you have a KML file that you can save to your computer, email to yourself, put it on Google Drive, whatever, and upload it to your phone and then upload it to Mestastic. Now that you're over at Mestastic, go to add a layer, select the file you've saved to your phone, and now you're going to have those nodes added to your list. You can see I have the repeaters and I'll zoom in here in a second on the uh, different ones. You can see if you click on it, it doesn't transfer like the custom icon files. You're just gonna get one color. 
unless there's a way to do that. I haven't figured out how to change that in the app yet, but pretty cool feature. So now let's talk about offline mapping. If you want some sort of offline mapping, from what I can tell is you'd need to go to your Google Maps app on your phone and then download offline mapping. Now, what I found in the app, the Mestastic app, is it's not, it, you're not gonna get high resolution in the, in the app, but if you click on the Google icon in the app, which I'll show you later um, in the Mestastic app, you will see, uh, it'll take you over Google and then you'll have access even without internet, but you go into your offline maps as it shows here on the screen and then you select your area. So select in central Washington, however big you want the file size, it'll show you down below download usage, you know, depending on how much area you want to cover. And then you download that so that it is in your phone when you don't have cellular or Wi-Fi coverage. All right. So as you saw there, it's a cool new way to customize, and add custom layers to your Mestastic app for pretty basic use. If you're really looking for more custom uh, options, then you probably should look into ATAC if you haven't already and utilize the features there and the Mestastic plugin. That's probably the best way to go if you're looking for something more specialized. But for the basic users, I think this is a cool thing. I would also love to see, and I'm considering trying to do it myself, but it would probably take some time to knock out would be create some sort of database where people can go report their fixed, you know, infrastructure routers in, you know, their area so that people could download those files, um, and, or at least the locations and they could create their own KML file. And then that way they would know where routers are in their area or an area they're traveling to. If you found value in this, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and check out website, social media links, affiliate links, and much more down below. Thanks for watching.